Some breaking news. ECB just out, leaving rates unchanged. Let's get to Steve Leisman. Yeah, big zero, uh, Becky, this morning on the ECB, keeping rates at zero, not making any change, keeping the refi rate pretty much where it was and continuing uh, its uh, new schedule of uh, quantitative easing on track to end it the end of this year. I thought this might be an interesting time to take a look at the differences between the three central banks because there's some concern out there that maybe we're into this period of convergence of tightening. Not so fast. Fed at one and three quarters to two percent. Uh, it's QE. It is reducing its quantitative easing pool. The ECB is at zero, affirming that this morning, and it will ease more slowly. In other words, it's going to wind it down, ending it in 2018. The Bank of Japan, a lot of talk about what they may be doing. They're at minus 0.1 in their benchmark mark rate, and they are still easing. And there's talk about a tweak to that policy that has the BOJ, uh, the, the, sorry, the uh, JGB uh, on the move this morning up a few basis points uh, in the positive territory, though. Take a look, though, at the two-year German yields versus the U.S. You can see that difference has actually increased over time. So at least the bond market is not making a bet at the moment on convergence. And that is also true at the 10-year uh, horizon when you go out further. Here's just the spread between the U.S. and the German 10-year. That's as negative now as it was uh, well, that's, up. that's the short-term chart. If you look long-term, say back to 2017, it's pretty much gotten worse or, or widened out further. So, guys, we're on the watch for that eventual convergence, but it's not necessarily a story made for daily business television, Becky. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.